Hello everyone, Dr. Lawrence Woods from The Spinery. Today we're gonna to ask the question, are chairs that recline actually better for our backs? Most of us at some point in our life has had experienced some form of back pain. And the number of people who are experiencing low back pain is increasing at an exponential rate. So you might ask, what is causing all this? Well, there's good reason to believe that this is the chairs we use and also how we sit is the major contributing factors to this massive health pandemic, if you like. If this is true, is there anything we can do right now? If you're watching me right now, is there anything you can do right now to avoid degenerative back pain? Well, here's the good news. The good news is most of our typical office chairs today have a simple feature that just might unlock the solution to better back health. Contrary to the common belief, sitting at a 90 degree angle, meaning that your legs and torso are making a right angle, is not nearly as optimal for your back as we once thought. There have been decades of research suggesting that a reclined position is actually much better, or put simply, the ability to lean back in your chair. In this video, we're gonna dive into specific reasons on why this is the case, and why you should consider using incline on your chair. The first study we're gonna look at, they found that it's actually better for the muscles in your spine. And this is research from an article from JMPT, and they found that subjects with seats with backrest with an inclination of 110 to 130 degrees of course, coupled with lumbar support, have the lowest press disc pressures and the lowest electromyography recordings from spinal muscles. And I hate using big words like that, it's shop talk, but, but electromyography or surface EMG is similar to like an EKG or ECG. It's just measuring the electrical activity in and around the, the muscles or paraspinal muscles and measures stress of the muscles and stress of the nerves. So here we go. So the translation from this study is that chairs with more of a recline are associated with a reduction in muscle activity and less nerve stress. Okay, so if you have a decrease in muscle activity and a decrease in nerve stress, this means you will experience less fatigue and tiredness. How many people out there are, are tired right now? When they looked at the standing position, which is about 180 degrees, researchers observed a low level of muscle activity in the back. When they compared this to sitting on chairs, they saw a large reduction in muscle activity in chairs that have an incline anywhere between 110 and 130 degrees. Now saying this, if you're gonna add incline, if you're watching me right now, you wanna add incline, you're gonna to need to reconfigure your workplace setup because this new seating arrangement will lower the position of your head. And if you wanna learn more about the configuring workplace, please click on the annotation on the upper right hand corner. Sitting for long periods of time is widely associated with all sorts of back pain, neck pain, shoulder pain, but more specifically disc herniation. And similar to the results above, the closer you get to a standing angle, the better it is for the long-term health of the spine. Do you ever remember back when you were a child and you're, you're sitting in the back of class and you're slacking or slouching and your teacher would yell at you to sit up straight? Well, it turns out that you were right. And sometimes our body tells us uh, a position that feels more comfortable is actually better for our spines, no matter what the teacher tells us. But one point I really wanna make, if you're gonna use incline, make sure you get a proper lumbar support because it's imperative that you use lumbar support when using incline. So I hope you learned something new in this video and something that you can begin implementing in your daily life right away. It is vital for us to get our posture right if we wanna maintain a healthy back and sitting the right way may be the most important place to start. To summarize the points made in this video, try to sit at an angle closest possible to standing. It is the most biomechanically, it's the most ideal position for our bodies, and it will surely improve or prevent back pain. Hey, one last thing before you go. If you're interested in this type of video, make sure to check out our YouTube channel. It's called The Spinery. We have a variety of advice, anything from sleep to food to water, to uh, ergonomics. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure you give us a like, okay? Because that really helps us out. I really appreciate this. I hope you have a great day. Thank you.